Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the performance of this new pen from Huion. This is the Huion PW517 that uses Pentec 3. So on their website, they say that this pen has a lower positioned pen nib, supports tilt sensitivity as well as up to slightly over 8000 levels of pressure sensitivity. This pen is included with selected pen displays and pen tablets released by Huion in 2020. The design looks good, build quality is solid, has a large rubber grip here, two side buttons with firm feedback. On the back we have the logo and I'm not sure what this part is for. Anyway, this pen it's not powered by battery so no charging required. The so-called lower positioned pen nib doesn't really affect drawing satisfaction. To me, it's just marketing. But what does affect drawing satisfaction is this pen tip, it doesn't wobble or move as much compared to earlier models and compared to pens from other brands. So you can see as I tap on the tip, it moves very slightly. Now this is very nice. This is quite a firm tip. So let me show you another brand. So notice how this pen tip, it would retract by quite a bit when I apply the same pressure on it. And let me show you another brand. So this one also moves by quite a bit. And the third pen, you can see this pen tip also moves into the pen. But with the Huion PW517, you can see that it doesn't move that much. Having a firm pen tip does make the drawing experience better. And this particular pen, it's quite sensitive. So I can draw thin lines very easily and this is how thick that brush really is. Transition from thin to thick, it's very smooth. I can also place dots very easily. Cross hatching is not a problem very easy. Initial activation force is very minimal and it seems like I am able to maintain consistent pressure as well. So the thickness of the lines they don't vary that much. By the way this is the Huion Canvas 16 2021 pen display which has a laminated display. The cursor tracking is very accurate so you can see the cursor it's directly beneath the pen tip. There is still a little gap between the drawing surface and the LCD beneath but that gap is only noticeable here because I'm pointing the camera at an angle. From where my eyes are looking at, it seems like the line is appearing directly beneath the pen tip. So this is a very sensitive and accurate pen. Cursor tracking at the extreme edges, the left, right, top and bottom edges, very accurate. And it's very important to have accurate cursor tracking because there are a lot of things we want to click at the edges, for example. We need to click on little icons like this, check boxes, scroll bars. This pen tip is currently touching the surface and you can see the cursor. It's directly beneath it, even at the extreme edge. Same thing applies when the cursor is at the bottom. Tracking on the left edge is not as accurate. You can see it strays by a few pixels to the left. I've just flipped the orientation of the pen display so now the shortcut buttons are on the right side. Now I believe the cursor tracking performance or functionality is 
programmed that way so that when I am right-handed, when I'm using my right hand, when I move to the left edge, the cursor will stray to the left edge, which allows me to actually see the cursor because when my pen is here, the pen will block the cursor. So it's actually good for the cursor to stray out a few pixels. Because right now, when I have the pen display flip, when I use my right hand again to move to this area here, you can see the cursor is now directly beneath the pen tip. It still strays a few pixels to the left side at the extreme edges, but I can click on this very small icons very easily. So now I'm holding the pen with my left hand and you can see the cursor tracking is now off by a few pixels at the right edge. So earlier on when I'm holding the pen with my right hand and with the pen display in correct orientation, the cursor was directly beneath the pen tip. For left-handed users, having the cursor stray a few pixels to the right side makes it easier for you to see the cursor and for you to click on things. I've just flipped the pen display back to our original orientation. Chances are you're probably not going to be drawing at the extreme edges. So cursor tracking at the extreme edges is really for you to click on the scroll bars, the icons more accurately. And here it works really well. This pen also supports tilt sensitivity. So you can see how the shape of the cursor is following the direction of the pen. Tilt works together with pressure. This brush that I'm using is pencil number five and the software is Krita. Now with certain pen displays or with certain pens on other pen displays, sometimes when you draw things like this, there can be breaks when the pen is changing direction. So for example, with certain brands that I've used, when you draw like this, there could be this sort of break. You can actually tilt the pen at quite a low angle for shading. So this is the pen performance for the Huion Canvas PW517. I'm impressed. By the way, if you want to check out my full detailed review of the Huion Canvas 16 2021, you can visit the link in the video description below. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you guys again. Bye.